Allah is telling us, be just. Even if it is against your own self, speak the truth and stand up for what is right. Or your own kin, or your own family, or if they are rich, or if they are poor. Here is the resolution from the Quran, from Allah, and the enduring conflict between our self-interests and injustice and justice. Be just, even if it is against your narrowly defined self-interest, that self-preservation that we spoke about, or those very close to you. True Islam and the correct teachings of Islam and real faith, real iman in Allah elevates one beyond that narrow-mindedness. These verses remind us that the real protector of our interests and of all people is indeed and in fact Allah. The justice these, that, that is demanded by Islam does not permit any favoritism. And if we upkeep the, the rights of Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa Allah will allow us to establish justice in our lives. Take for example, awwal as-salaf, our noble messenger Muhammad bin Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa in an incident where he was to establish the hukum, the ruling, the hudud, the punishment as a judge in a matter. And it was said to him, will you establish the justice on such and such an individual who was from the nobility of that time? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, awkama kala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the meaning of it, he said, even if it was Fatima, my daughter, then we would establish it upon her. We would establish that ruling and that punishment upon her, and it was capital punishment. This is the justice of Islam, and this is who we take our religion from. Allah also commands us that we must even be just against our enemies. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kunu qawwameena lillahi shuhada bil kist. O you who believe, stand out firmly for Allah and be just witnesses. And then he continues, And let not the enmity and hatred of others make you avoid justice. Make you avoid justice. Be just, he says, that is nearer to piety and taqwa and fear Allah. Verily, again, Allah is well acquainted with what you do. Again, take another incident. An unprecedented act of justice in history. In history. And I challenge anyone who's listening to me to find another incident like this. Where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after spending a decade or more being oppressed by his people, burnt, tortured his companions, the worst types of punishment that you can imagine. Something that the Muslims would not possibly even face today. And after all the decade long persecution and torture, when he finally amassed an army and Allah gave him the permission to march upon Mecca and retake Mecca, his homeland, that he loved so dearly and he loved his people so dearly. When he marched upon it 10,000 strong, he did not harm a fly when they got that victory. And the people of Mecca was expecting retribution. Why? Because the order and the code of the day in war was when a conquering army took a city or took a village or whatever it was in conquest, that it was understood that they would pillage and destroy everything. And in this unprecedented act of justice, he set an example for mankind. An example in war, no less. Something that the Western governments or much of the world today knows very little about wallahul musta'an